seventh problem. A, B, C are three newspapers, newspapers published from a city Twenty percent of the population read a sixteen percent read B. Fourteen percent red C, eight percent red both A and B, five percent red both. Both A and C, four percent red, four percent red, both B and C. And two percent, all the three, all the three. Find the percentage, percentage of the population. Population, population, who read, who read at least one newspaper. Suppose if A, B, C are the three events, if you observe P of A given, P of B given, P of C given, P of A intersection B given, P of B intersection C given, P of A intersection C given and P of A intersection B intersection C given. And we are asked to find out the population who read at least one newspaper that means P of A union, B union, C we have to calculate. Simple addition theorem for application this is. So, here given P of A is 20 percent means 20 by 100, P of B 16 by 100, P of C 14 by 100 and next P of A intersection B both A and B 8 by 100 P of B intersection C 5 P of B intersection C 4 by 100, P of C intersection A 5 by 100, 
P of A intersection, B intersection, C, all three is equal to 2 percent, 2 by 100. So, what we have to calculate means P of A union, B union, C. See, just recall what is the formula for P of A union, B union, C. P of A union, B union, C is equal to P of A plus P of B plus P of C minus P of A intersection B minus P of B intersection C minus P of C intersection A plus P of A intersection B intersection C that is all. So, this is equal to P of A 20 by 100 plus 16 by 100 plus 14 by 100 minus 8 by 100 minus 4 by 100 minus 5 by 100 and this is to be added plus 2 by 100. 100 is common. So, this is equal to 100 divided by 20 plus 16 plus 14 minus 8 minus 4 minus 5 plus 2. 16 plus 14 30, 30 plus 20 50, 52. 52 this minus 17, 52 minus 17, 5 35. So, 35 by 100. So, that means 35 percent. This is the answer. Next eighth one. Two persons, two persons A and B are rolling, rolling a dice, a dice singularly on the condition that the person the person who gets who gets 3 will win the game will win the game. If A starts starts the game the game then find the probabilities 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 of A and B respectively respectively to win the game. to win the game. So, that means, if A rolls a dice and gets 3, he will be the winner. So, that means, probability of success depends on getting 3 when a die is, dice is rolled. So, what is the probability of getting 3 when a dice is rolled? Out of 6, only one case is possible that is actually we have 1 by 6. So, probability of actually 
the probability of failure is we know that that is 1 minus 1 by 6 that is 5 by 6. So, first probability of success and probability of failure let us find out the game solution. Let P be the probability probability of getting probability of winning the game winning the game. I already told you that means probability of getting 3 when a dice is rolled that is 1 by 6. So, losing the game is actually q, q becomes 1 minus p that is 1 minus 1 by 6, pi by 6. So, how do we declare that A wins the game? So, the for example, A starts the game. In first attempt, A win, A get the 1 by 6 that is, then A will be the winner. Suppose, in first attempt A loses, first attempt B loses, in second attempt A wins, then A will be declared as the winner. Otherwise, one more case also will arise. First two cases both will lose, third attempt A wins, then A will be the winner. So, that means now the following cases arise to win the game by A. So, its probability say P of A, first attempt getting P plus first attempt Q, second attempt Q uh, both that means B. P. Next Q, 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 P. Next Q, 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 P and so on it will be continued until A wins the match. So, this can be written P plus P Q square plus P Q power 4 and so on dash dash infinite. Take p common, you get 1 plus q square plus q power 4 plus dash dash infinity. If you observe this is a geometric series which is infinite series, we have the formula to find out. The, so, sum to infinity that is a by 1 minus r. Here a stands for 1, r stands for q square by 1. So, this is 1 by 1 minus q square. So, this becomes now p by 1 minus q square. Substitute p value 1 by 6, 1 minus this is 25 by 36. This will be 1 by 6 by 11 by 36. So, 1 by 6 into 36 by 11, 6 1 just 6, 6 by 11. Probability of winning the game is by A is 6 by 11. Now, what is P of B? Probability of winning the game by B is equal to A should lose the match that is P of A bar. So, that is equal to 1 minus P of A. So, 1 minus 6 by 11 that is 5 by 11. 11 minus 6, that is an answer.